In this series of videos, you are going to learn about how to make your own components in the database. The first video here will take you through some of the settings that are connected with the component guide. If you use the default settings, this is a nice to know video, And but if you're going to uh, do a, a lot about your own database, not so much components, but more added uh, data field, then this video is a need to know uh, video. But Let's continue and you'll see what I'm talking about. In settings, I have uh, the database. And database settings is uh, the center of the component guy settings. In here, you can see what database I'm connected to. And today, I'm connected to this default uh, UK database. And uh, the way I am connected to that one, can be seen here in database setup. What's important is how the two programs, the PC schematic database and PC schematic automation are connected together. And in PC schematic automation, I have those data fields here, article, type, function, etc., which are the data fields that are in my program or in my project. And as you can see, they're all written with small letters. Then I have my database data fields, and all my database data fields are in capital letters. And in my database, I have, for instance, my EAN number. EAN number is a barcode that you can find on all components. Uh, bec and because it's a unique number that you use to order uh, the component by. Also in my database I have a type, type also with the capital letters. I also have a type in my project with small letters, but um, that's why they connect together. Then in my database I might have some prices. My database is not updated, but if you want to, you can add prices to your database. I have a description of my components, which is in a data field called UK Descript. And uh, what might be important is that all my diagram symbols are in the data field PCS type. All my pin names are in the database field pin data. My mechanical symbols are in the MEC type. And so on. I also have accessories in those data fields. And finally, I have my component wizard extra fields that I can see here. For instance, I want to be able to, when I create my new components, to go in and say that, or, or select and type my manufacturer, where I buy them. I might add a description in Danish. Uh, I might add pictures or data sheets or a lot of other information that are found in those data uh, fields in the database. So this is simply uh, for you to know that you can add more or you can uh, deselect some of the, the data fields in the database to this component guide. So this is the reason why you see certain data fields when you start creating uh, uh, components uh, by using the component guides.